As always, don't forget to check the video description down below for the best price on parts and tools I use in today's video. And if this video helps you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank y'all for doing that. Appreciate it. And let's check it out. Okay, so today I'm just showing you in general how to replace a connector. Okay, so what could happen in this situation, the wires got burned up and they're not burned up too bad. So what I'll end up doing is I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut this, make a new connection. I'm going to show you what to do if it's um, too short or whatever. But basically, if you have like a bunch of corrosion, um, if sometimes like this one over here, it, it's tight all the way and it's still loose, you can run a screw, but it's better, it's better just go ahead and replace it and then you can tighten it and loosen it and all that. What else could be happening? You could have another thing to look for if there's a bunch of green and a bunch of corrosion is you're going to look at this wire and if it gets, if it's like fat, say right here and then gets skinny back there, you want to cut behind where it's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? inflamed and it's, it's not a human <laughs> it uh, bulges it just gets bigger so you're going to cut behind that because what's happened is the corrosion gets inside up until where it gets skinny again so you cut off there and then you make your new connector so i think that's just about it as far as what can go wrong you could have a like a already been replaced connector and there could be a bunch of corrosion in there they might be loose in that aftermarket connector if you have that situation there'll be two bolts and you'll see like one i put on here you can always take the bolts off you can flip that little plate around and then just kind of clean up your wires a little bit flip the plate around and then put the bolts back in you don't have to put on a new connector if you already have that aftermarket one you can just kind of clean it up and reuse it so now i'm going to show you your next step Okay guys, so before we go about replacing this thing, you're gonna wanna make sure to have it disconnected. I mean, you can go ahead and just disconnect this. I'm just gonna leave it on, doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna grab, you're gonna need a big pair of wire cutters like this, okay? They're big, they're hefty. Just taking a pair of side cutters or dykes is gonna be a little rough, but I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna see if I can cut both of these with this one. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut, bam, and see how easy that was with the side cutters. You'd just be there, right, 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 trying to get it. And if you don't have a pair of these, you try side cutters. You can also try a razor blade and just try hacking away at it. It'll just take longer. It's easier and nicer. Next, I am going to take a little razor. Let's see, I'm going to grab. No, I got a little razor in here right there. Boom. So I'm going to go ahead and start to cut back because we're going to need a lot of wire. It's kind of exposed. You don't want to cut into the wire. So you can see I'm kind of like cutting away from it. And this plastic piece here isn't very important. It's just kind of like, I don't know, some kind of protector type deal. But And then I just cut into it, but I was really careful. I didn't do a lot of pressure. Boom. And we just want to get enough exposed so we can get a good, uh, good amount of wire in that new connector. So, And for example, for this, so it's going to be vary for, from car to car. But this one you can see right here, it's got a little, hopefully you're seeing it, yep, yep, there you go. So it, it goes and it slides in. So for this particular car, you just hit the little thing, pop up out of there. And for other cars, you're just gonna kind of follow it down. And a lot of times they'll have like these like little hold down, something, something like this on there. And you just go in there with a little, little clip remover type deal. And so you take take a tool like this and get in there, pop it out, and then that, that'll free up some more room on this wire. Um, if you don't have room, the only thing you could really do if you don't want to replace the whole wire is you can get like a, you're going to want to figure out what gauge wire you have. Say this is, I don't know, say this is 8 gauge or 6 gauge or something, um, get you more of this wire get you a little connector where you can crimp both sides so add wire to it and then put a connector on um otherwise you're replacing like the whole the whole wire and harness and all that but so you can either extend the wire you could actually replace the wire but a lot of times you're gonna have extra slack on most cars uh you just gotta kind of make the slack you never just want to pull because you can end up breaking stuff and messing more stuff up so now we're gonna look at this wire and we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a little wire cutter and I'm gonna get right about right there. You can see 
Probably that much is plenty right there. And I'm just gonna bite down on it a little bit. And then we'll start to spin. Spin. And then I'm gonna start to pull. We can see it needs more cutting. So I'm gonna just bite down a little bit more. Keep spinning. Pull. And look at that. We didn't even didn't even cut any wire. So that looks good. And then we're gonna do the same thing for this side. And I won't show you that again, it's redundant. I'm gonna grab your new connector and we'll see what's next. All right, so I got both of my wires done. And first thing I'm gonna do, this is your new connector. First thing I always like to do is first, I get connectors that do not have the nuts in the bottom. Cause when you take these out, they'll fall out and then it's just more work. So the threads are built into the connector. So first thing, I'm gonna just take I'm gonna take these bolts out. Hopefully you saw that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna flip this plate. So that's what I was talking about earlier is flipping the plate. I do it on the new connectors anyways because you can see this is gonna like kind of bite down whereas that just kind of holds it in so we're gonna get a bite down. So then we'll take one of these bolts and just kind of start them just a little bit. Boom, boom. And then these guys they're always little boogers. They never want to cooperate. But we're gonna kind of try and get them together there, get them to cooperate. And then, this would be, I could never film this without this little head cam. <laughs> then we're gonna stick it in there, like so. And this is where it's really helpful to have the electric ratchet because I can just keep holding everything. I do have to, I gotta switch my direction. And now, I'm run it down, make sure my other wire didn't come out. Boom, boom. And then I'm gonna just snug it, boom. Boom, boom. There we go, so now, Let's check out what we got. So now we can see, got a nice new connection. It's not going anywhere. There's a little slide up over that. If your new one does not, does not slide up over it, what I do is I just take a little hammer. Well, actually it's a big hammer. But take my hammer. I'll come down right here. I can't see the video. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go, it's okay, it's all good. And there we go. See that bolt's tight now. So now I'm a, it's a 13, but yeah, you saw what I did. Basically just tap down on it. You wanna be careful because this is like a plastic housing. There's metal and stuff in there, but you can, you can run that post right down into that battery if you hit it hard enough. And so we're gonna take it and tap, tap, tap. And now it's flush. You just wanna tap it down until it's flush. And then, just take your ratchet. Righty tighty. And that's it. That's all in there nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. You have a solid connection now. So that is it guys. Replacing your battery connector is as simple as that. And it does not matter that this wire is now up a little bit. So you might be like, oh man, well damn it. My wire is out of place. It doesn't matter. It's fine. There's so many things on cars that are just redundant and are unnecessary and that's one of them so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time